Hi guys, so I have another product review for you today. I'm gonna to be reviewing another e.l.f. product. This is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. This is another product that I received from the London Drugs Beauty event. Like with all the rest of these reviews of products from the event, I will be leaving a link to that haul video, which I show you all of the products that I received down below and in a card, card up there. That video has everything that I received from the event, as well as timestamps so you can jump to any brand that you want to see in the description of that video. So you don't have to watch the whole 20 minute video to see what I received from a particular brand. Or you can watch the whole video. Do what you want. So I'm going to be talking about the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. It's this beautiful, tiny, sleek little palette. It's quite small. So this is really great for travel. It's got the same sturdy packaging as the e.l.f. contour kit. Uh, it's a little bit different. It's got rounded edges, but it's the same sort of sturdy plastic. The inside, it's got a great little mirror, and that is what the colors look like. So I will have better pictures up on my blog. My lighting's a little blue today, and I can't seem to be able to do much about it. I will have full pictures of swatches for all of the colors on my blog. I don't want to try and do those for you here because they'll just look a lot better if you can look at pictures of them. But I did want to give you a quick overview of the palette. I don't think I've done a review just using this palette yet. I did use a couple of the colors in one of the chatty get ready with me videos that I did recently so I will leave that linked in a card and down below if you want to go and see that but I will definitely be working this into a tutorial soon all on its own because it is a really great palette and I've really been loving it spoilers I love this palette let me just see if I can change my lighting quickly so yeah with the slightly better lighting there is a look at the colors you can actually see some of the more warmer tones now so let me just swatch a couple of these for you I will swatch the darkest one beautiful red, brown, and one of the highlight colors. So that's what those look like swatched on the hand. They're super buttery and creamy, really great quality, so, so blendable, so pigmented, really easy to work with. I really can't think of anything particularly bad to say about this palette. I don't find that it has a lot of fallout. The colors, again, are just really easy to work with. There's a great range of cooler tones and warmer tones and neutrals and lights and darks. It would be a really great sort of supplementary palette for any colorful palettes, kind of like the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. Obviously, this isn't a dupe for it. For the Basics one, it actually has like none of the same colors, but it would definitely fill a similar function and for a much cheaper price and with a lot more shadows, which makes it kind of even cheaper. Of course, I don't know the price of this particular palette right now, but I will leave the price from the e.l.f. website somewhere on the screen right now, so you can see just how much it is. But in general, e.l.f. products are really inexpensive, and this one is really good quality, not just for the price, but just in general. I've really been loving these shadows. I would definitely recommend it to anybody looking for a neutral palette who really loves neutral palettes or who just needs some matte to supplement all of the shimmers in the, their collection, because while shimmers are great, it's always good to have a matte for blending or just to add a little bit of a dimension It'll break up the shimmers a little bit. It's also really good for like work or school makeup. So yeah, basically I really wanna work this rusty color right here, which isn't showing up really rusty on the camera, but um, it's really, really beautiful. It's the one that I swatched here. It's a gorgeous color and I really wanna use it on the eyes. So I'll definitely be working that in soon. But yeah, if you've ever used an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and were disappointed by it, I completely understand you. I've used some e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes in the past and they were really, really low quality, but this is on a completely different level than those. The e.l.f. Essentials eyeshadows, at least a few years ago, were not good. But these eyeshadows are so, so nice. I do think that these eyeshadows are really creamy and really, really easy to work with. Whether you're new to mattes or really experienced with them, I think that you'll really enjoy this palette. Whether you want to use it on its own or with shimmery products. So with that, I feel like I'm starting to ramble. So that is probably all that I had to say about the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. I would actually really like to try out more of these slim little palettes from elf now they do have i think a few of them probably not all matte ones but 
given the quality of this one, I would be very interested in trying out more of those palettes. So let me know if you've tried this palette or any of the similarly packaged e.l.f. palettes in the past and how you liked them in the comments down below. It'd be interesting to hear from others what your experiences with these eyeshadows have been. Don't forget to check out my blog for full pictures of all of the colors in the palette. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to see more videos from me, including a tutorial using this palette in the near future. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. But yeah, that is what Obsession looks like. I just wanted to show you the color because it's really, really gorgeous. And in case the eyes are distracting you, that is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful color and it's really, really comfortable. Crazy neutral, right? I think I recently wanted to use...